Hello, this is Slayer Isaiah's channel again. Just wanted to say that it's time for another Loot Crate unboxing, although this time it actually came early. Now, I did look up uh, what Loot Crate it is, and this one is November, so it's the act of combat. Logan! Okay, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ryu, he's all for the combat and everything. So... Basically, it's pretty big. It's about this big. That big? Oh, well, I don't know. It's pretty good. So it's about combat, about beating people up, treating everybody like crap, apparently. Bullying, I guess. Uh, let's not bully people, okay? This is not like give, Slayer giving everybody a bully of approval or something. Now, I, I've been uh, counted as a bully from time to time, but I don't bully people. I just anti-bully bully. Like, if they want to bully me, I'm going to bully back. That's just the way I do it. Okay. Well, we're going to open this box here, and... Wow, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of really neat stuff. Don't know where to begin. Uh, we're going to fold this box back. Sorry about paying attention to the items and stuff. Um, I don't get this. This is pretty cool. Uh, you got... Like a shredder thing with glasses or something. Is it 3D effect? 3D effect? No. No. No? Just nice glasses or something. I don't know. Let's, I think, pull this out. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Well, pardon my hair. I haven't had a, you know. Come with me. Those damn turtles must die. I try so hard. But my minions are so terrible, I have to do it myself. Okay. Bad impression, but, you know. Uh, I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan. I will not I will not be afraid to admit, but that was kind of a bad impression. Um, the Hunger Games Mockingjay, part two. Um, that's pretty neat. I like it. Um, it's really cool. Um, it's a it's like a pin thing you can put it on your shirt or put it on or you could try to like finagle it and put it on here that would be so neat be like just cover this thing full of all sorts of pins and stuff that'd be pretty cool then we got this thing it's a volt boy bobblehead from fallout 4 I think well apparently we need the knife again so let's cut up cut him open Try not to cut my... Ow! Cut myself again, you know. I'm, not, like, notorious for that. Cutting myself with this knife is so easy because it just goes right through you. Like, it just makes it so quick and easy to cut, but... I don't like cutting people, so I'm not saying to go cut yourself. Um. Ah! This is, like, my first bobblehead that I've actually gotten in a loot crate. Doingy, 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 doingy. Well, you can't really see it if I'm bobbling his head up and down, can you? Well, anyway, there's his head right there. There's uh, vault Tech there. And there's his head. And then he's 111. I'm glad. Not 666. He goes, ay, 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 ay. He goes, dude, do you like this video? Did you want to watch me stream tonight? Why not, you butthole? Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I was fucking around. Um, okay, this one is says it's from Blizzard Entertainment. Cute but deadly series one figure. Ooh. Does that mean there's gonna be like a big run in on these things? Oh, you can get Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanas, Zeratul, Murloc, Diablo, Murloc, Lucrate Exclusive. So, there's two Murlocs? Okay, then there's another Murloc and an Arthas. Okay. So, apparently, I'm thinking that we got the Murloc that says Loot Crate Exclusive. Because I'm pretty sure... I don't like... I don't like these type of things where you have to rip them open like that. I like it to be easy. Okay. Comes in this thing, so, like, tries to, you know... Keep it kind of um, nice, I guess. It's 
probably looks like we got a Murloc. No? Because they're all on here. Huh. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's open it. Well, how are we going to open it? Ooh. Well, let's get your trusty little knife. And instead of the knife, let's open the scissors. Don't cut yourself, kids. Alright. Um, we're going to cut this open here. Oh! Oh, very careful. Ow! I cut myself. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, okay, by the back, I got a Diablo. Ooh, I love that. I love that guy. It's so freaking cool. I like it. And his stand is like that. No, it's not. What? You can turn his tail around. He can't stay nowhere. He can't. He literally cannot stay. But I really like him. Uh, it's really cool. Diablo. I'm here to eat your soul. Eat your soul. I'm hungry for you. I'm coming to get you. I see you through the window. Okay. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. Uh, next. Uh. Hmm. Oh, it comes with a stand. Okay. So you shove this you shove this in his ass and it's a stand. Okay. I didn't know that. It just came out uh earlier. These look like magnets. Yes, they are. They're magnets of all the characters. That is pretty cool. I, I really like that. So if I get like a mini fridge, shove these on there and just make it a gaming fridge and shove them on there but right now I'm not going to mess with that. It says happy holidays looter. Looter. <laughs> a little closer to say fluter. Okay at Loot Crate we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Re-gift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we love you. Team Loot. Oh, okay. So they're basically saying, like, put this on this crate or something, and then you can reloot it to someone else. Well, I don't really have anybody else that I'm willing to give this crate to, because it's mine. I paid for it. I want it. I'm kind of a materialistic guy somewhat. Not really totally, but sometimes. And, of course, you get... Oh, I was right. It is combat. This is November 2015 combat loot crate pin. And eventually I want to get like a sash and put all these on. But for now, I actually leave them in the actual box each month. So, of course, you get the little thing that tells you like what you get. Oh, you son of a beach. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> really? I really want that. Look, that, that. I want that, like, so bad. And I know I want this, the, the collector's edition of, of uh, Ryu, but I have probably going to get that next month and pre-order it. Uh, they said it's about $80. I'm hoping it's still $80, but, you know, you know, GameStop, they always, oh, it's $80. And then, of course, the stuff that comes in, the loot crate, you know, they, they, uh, they, they tell you, like, a nice, cool little thing and all that, so. And, of course, all the little mini little figures you can get with the stand. And then, of course, they put the little button here. Um, that's really cool. I like how they, they have a book that runs down on this. And then a Loot Crate exclusive Street Fighter Hyper Looting magazine. Wow. Number one. Wow. Um, well, let me tell you this. This is actually going to stay in this loot. I normally do not uh, separate the loots. I actually keep them together. Um, reasons being is because I don't want to take them apart just yet. But I really like the magazine. But really cool. Um, then, of course, you got the box. And, of course, if you turn it inside out, it looks like a Ninja Turtles thing. Like some, like, poison-like. Of course, this part needs to be thrown out. It's like some Ninja Turtles theme. Like, let's t turn it inside out. 
And usually when I put my loot crates away, I know some of them got damaged back there. Uh, because they fell or whatever, and they got, like, a little hole in them. But that's okay, because it's like, you know, it's just a box, but then again, it's a loot crate box. But, you know, it's not like, I don't know. But, I don't know, maybe I'll turn it back inside out and just keep them stacked normal, I don't know. But I like to keep them folded out like this, because it kind of tells me what they are. Um... Some of the loot crates, when they were came in and they were really small, I was like, wow, there ain't much in here. And then you go to open it, it's like, wow, there's a lot of shit in here. Okay, so yeah, you got your little poison-like areas. You got your little poison-like sat areas. Now this could be like, it, it looks like it could be like Fallout 2 or something. I mean, not Fallout as a number 2, I mean Fallout like maybe 4 or something. But um, that's pretty cool because you can go... You can put your little bobblehead on it, or something, or you can make him like he's just going down the street of nothingness because it's all taken over by the apocalypse. Anyway, this is a really nice loot crate. I mean, I really love the figures I got. If I can find him, he ran away from me. That jerk. Oh, yeah, I really like the figures. I love this figure, and I really love this figure. I mean, come on, bobblehead. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put them back away because I don't want them damaged, and then I'm going to put them back somewhere, and then then once I get my new place or whatever, then we're going to bring them out and make a nice little set with them and stuff, with all the stuff that I got. If you like this unboxing video, please subscribe or and like the channel. It always helps to to have everybody like it up or whatever. Um, I do loot crate unboxings every month now, so this should not be that like new to some people. But if you're new to my channel, you you should know that I'll at least do an unboxing every month. Uh, next year, I think I'm gonna get into super. Geeks Monthly or whatever, they have a loot crate for that. And then maybe a Nintendo crate unboxing. Um, because they do amazing stuff. I saw a lot of people get some rarity games and rarity Nintendo stuff. And to be honest with you, it's really cool and really awesome. And I'd like to get into that because I'm a heavy gamer. I'm also a heavy collector. I know my room is kind of messed up right now. Because there's just so much shit going on in my life. Uh... You know, there's just so much that I, I, I'm getting, so little time to actually maneuver stuff. There's not much room to work on a 10 by 10 room, I think it's called. That's, I don't know, <laughs> maybe it's not even 10 by 10 but hopefully I'll be getting my own place within a year or so, and then we'll be, like, working on a game room slash area where I can stream and where I can do videos and where I could maybe stand and do these unboxings or something or maybe like some people like do an unboxing and have the camera like facing like me unboxing it and I'll just be talking kind of like Ashens I think his name is he he does it that way I'd like to take a little bit and do that anyway if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button every like and every sub helps the channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. And I love you all. Bye.